Because they're no longer making money for people, once these cats you know, become really teenagers, they're too dangerous, they may not get fed, they may be killed, they may be sold um, for uh, game hunting, and the facilities are very, very minimal. They usually live in small cages. <laughs> So the thing with neglected animals is we just have no history on them. We don't know their age. They probably have never received any veterinary care, never any preventative care like vaccinations or blood tests to check uh, kidney health, anything like that. So really today is treating what's right in front of us and that's this big untreated dental abscess that really has started to heal already with the course of antibiotics that we gave her. Every subspecies of tiger um, is critically endangered at this point. So if you want to help tigers, shop responsibly to minimize habitat loss. There's great places you can look to research for that. And if you're going to help a tiger sanctuary, make sure that they are an accredited sanctuary with a Big Cat Sanctuary Alliance. Additionally, um, press your legislators to pass federally the Big Cat Public Safety Act, and that means that these tigers can't be kept as pets, that any kind of um, facility that has tigers would really be scrutinized and accredited so that they exist for the benefit of the tigers, uh, not for sensationalism and making money. Good girl. We're very happy to be able to provide them, you know, with a forever home and a good quality of life. You know, for us, this is one of our older facilities, but for them, this is a paradise. And, you know, we're really happy. And I think, I mean, it will be very heartwarming to see them be able to walk on out, walk out on grass for probably the first time ever. And, you know, tigers love water. You know, the moment they get to, you know, jump into the pool, I think just there's going to be so many times when, you know, we really will be so happy about this work that we're doing.